hello John and uh, Dave this is Fada one of your fans here in Portland Oregon and here's a question that I posed to uh, Mr. Brown on uh, Twitter and he pointed me to your episode 56 which gave me a lot of good information but not the specific question I was asking here's my thing when you're trying to do VNC or VPN into another computer and as with most people who have home networks off of something like oh the phone company like SBC or QS or Comcast or Warner Cable you have a central uh, digital modem in the home uh, that is taking in the internet signal and then it does what they call a network address translation or NAT uh, to give you all uh, different uh, IP addresses sharing basically the same internet signal. Uh, that uh, is great, except when you want to do this sort of remote login to someone else. Uh, and let's say they're at another house, and they're also uh, sharing um, internet signal uh, from a central cable or, or DSL modem uh, using NAT. I mean, how do you get to them? And I'm doing this without using Timbuktu or PC Anywhere or Apple Remote Desktop. Uh, I'm doing it using just the screen sharing that comes with the Mac OS system, if you know where to find it. Psst. In the System Library Core Services folder. Okay, right there. The other reason I want this is because on my iPhone, there's this great little app called uh, VNC. Let me show it to you. It's called uh, VNC. There it is, right there. Um, there's two versions, uh, Mocha VNC Lite and uh, Mocha VNC Regular. The regular you pay more for has more features there. And let's touch on that one. So um, I've already set it up so that when we're both on the same uh, network, home network, again with the NAT address translation, all I have to do, it has a password in there. Um, I hit this and it finds my computer and boom, that should come up with me on the screen. Uh, but look, there's me on the screen holding up the iPhone and I'm VNC'd into my Mac and I can, uh, it's got little icons down here to use the keyboard or the mouse and you can use the stretching to enlarge parts of the screen. Um, it's really, really a, a great thing. But the problem is if I want to use it anywhere outside uh, of my home network, I'd have to know how to get in here. And again, you have to do things like go in and do um, screen sharing, go into screen sharing and make sure you have screen sharing enabled and, and do a password for it like I did here. So uh, my question is, how do you do this behind when, when each section is, uh, when each uh, person trying to connect to each other through screen sharing or through something like a VNC uh, is behind a firewall with NAT address translation? Do you do port forwarding? And how do you do port forwarding in something like this Netgear router I have? Here's uh, the Netgear router I'm using, the screen for the port forwarding. How do you do this? Help me. Obi-Wan Dave and Obi-Wan Brownie, you're my only hope. Love the show.